Welcome back to Hodge Tools, I'm Tom. Today we got a little different project, a little shorter project. Um, when we moved into uh, the shop space, um, I've never really been happy with the, uh, the, the door handle that's on the main door. And um, so I've been wanting to do something with it and, uh, and something that's you know kind of fitting for the shop environment. Uh, a little bit artsy and um, uh, metalworking related, obviously. You know, you got to do that, right? Um, so, uh, a friend and I have been kicking around a couple of ideas, and uh, I talked to uh, my wife about it and uh, got her input. And so, uh, we got a really good idea, I think. It's going to be kind of cool. Um, so, uh, I got enough stuff here today that I can actually do that, and uh, we're going to shoot a short video on uh, putting that thing together. and. Uh, and getting them mounted up. All right, let's get going. Okay, so uh, I cut the. Uh, uh, this is the plate that's going to go against the uh, against the sliding door. And the idea is that I want to create a. It's a sliding door, so I want to create a handle that I can get a hold of and pull the door and push the door. It runs on a, an overhead track, um, and then I'll bolt that through the door. So. Uh, uh, what we found uh, uh, for the handle is this big slugging wrench here. So uh, now uh, I don't know about you, but uh, my nuts aren't that big, so uh, uh, I don't see myself using this uh, in the near future for anything. And uh, it actually makes a really, you know, it's a good grip size. So what we're going to do is uh, mount this something like that. And then that whole thing will mount to the door. And uh, I'm going to clip the corners on this, and we're going to use some uh, some carriage head bolts to uh, to mount it. So we got some uh, features that look like rivets, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll wax this thing and uh, and mount it to the door. And uh, it should be pretty cool looking. And it's simple and quick and uh, uh, kind of eye catching. Okay. All right. So here's the base. The base plate, and uh, this is a uh, quarter inch by four, uh, and it's about eight inches long, something like that. Um, and uh, this is a three eighths, um, about a ten millimeter bolt. So I'm just kind of eyeballing the uh, what I want for uh, um, kind of corner decoration here. So you know, this the bolt's going to be somewhere in that region. I don't want it too close to the edge, so about three quarter, probably by three quarter from the corners. And then uh, I think what I want to do here is I want to just clip the corners, something like that. Yeah, that'll look pretty good. And then I'll probably put a little bevel all the way around like this, just to kind of uh, a decorative thing. All right, so I'm going to do some layout. We'll smack some holes in that, do a little grinding, and then uh, fi figure out our uh, uh, figure out the angle piece uh, to weld this together. All right, let's do some layout here. I'm just laying out the uh, the hole locations. And there it is, three quarters of an inch from the uh, from the edges. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to lay out the chamfers too. Um, that one looks pretty good to me. So that's about a half by half. So 12, is that 12 millimeters? Yeah. Yeah, 12 millimeters by 12 millimeters. So normally on chamfers, what I do is I just kind of mark the end positions and then I just connect the, connect the lines when I'm, uh, when I'm cutting them. Like that. And I'll probably just uh, belt sand that off uh, on the belt sander over there. Okay. 
So that's our basic layout, four bolts. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to drill this on the, uh, on, on the drill press here. And then, uh, since we're using carriage bolts, I need to drill a hole that's big enough for uh, um, the, uh, the carriage part to fit in there. So, uh, well, let's just go through with a pilot hole first, maybe quarter inch, something like that. Yeah, I didn't like the look of that drill bit. I just filled that one up and I didn't look at the drills, so. Okay. Okay, so I put a little uh, uh, a little coffin uh, chamfer around the uh, around the edge of that just to kind of decorate it a little. And all I did was I just laid it out with these uh, um, hermaphrodite uh, calipers and just scribed a line here so I had a guideline to uh, to sand to. I'm going to do a little hand work on that just to kind of uh, blend that a little bit and uh, make it nice and crisp. And then uh, we'll make the uh, the bracket that mounts the uh, the slugging wrench. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna cut the uh, or transfer the uh, angle of the uh, of the wrench to the the gusset here. So I'm just gonna trace along the bottom. Hopefully, I'll get a good line. Yep. I'll go cut that. And we'll get that in place and get it tacked up. Okay, so we cut the angle on there. And 
I went ahead and Roto broached a one inch hole in there just to make this bracket look a little lighter. Um, you know, with the material in there, it's kind of big and, and heavy looking. So, uh, um, anyway, it's going to sit about like that. Something like that. And now I'm looking at it here. I may, I may scallop these a little bit too, just to, uh, uh, just, man, I don't know. Yeah, think about it for a minute. All right, so uh, I made I made this one first here. Uh, this one's quarter inch thick, same as the base plate, and uh, to connect the uh, the the, um, the the plate that goes on the door to the uh, the actual handle of the wrench. Um, Anyway, I think I went a little bit too far. Uh, I didn't pass uh, the uh, artistic critics uh, um, measure, so uh, too much like a, a Harley uh, gusset or a, uh, something like that. So going with a little bit thicker material here, we're going to soften some edges here and, um, and use that instead, kind of give it a, a little beefier uh, look. So it's transitioning from a thinner uh, material, thicker material, big and heavy. This is really the star of the show here, so uh, we don't want to attract attention to uh, some of the other uh, static bits. Um, so uh, I'm gonna, this needs to slide in here just a little bit farther, so I'm gonna go mill a little off of the top of that. So here's a, we got an interesting technique here uh, that's worth showing. So we got this angled surface here, and I really want it, and I don't know what this angle is, and it doesn't really matter for, for this discussion. Um, but really what I want to do is I want to get it in the vise parallel with the machine table. And uh, so there's a couple ways you can do that that are, that are pretty easy. Um, the first is, or the one I kind of like, is uh, we flip it over, and then what we're just going to do, we're just going to put a parallel on it like that, and then... Uh, We'll clamp the parallel even with that surface. And hopefully, it, oh, that one didn't quite reach here. Well, anyway, you'll get the idea here. And then uh, we're just going to slip it in the vise and we'll set it on that parallel. Okay, so that parallel is not big enough. Let me get another one. Let's try that again. So we'll put that on. Maybe I'll split the difference a little better this time too. I think you're getting the idea though. Okay. And we'll slide that in. And we just set that on the vice jaw like that. Then I'm going to snug it. And then this comes off. And now, now I'm in there. So, uh, and I'm just parallel with that angle. So, and that's all I care about. So the second method I was going to show is uh, using a little surface gauge. And um, you can use a little surface gauge like this. So let's just, uh, we'll put it on one end there. So if you have a scribe line or something like that, um, you can compare the ends with a little surface gauge like this. So if you have a layout line or whatever that you want parallel with the jaw, you can, uh, you can use a little height gauge, or excuse me, a surface gauge like this to compare the end to end. But in this case, we did the, uh, we did the parallel thing. Okay, so uh, I got this rounded off nice on both ends, and I did a little layout on here so I can get this in the center and then centered in the plate real nice. And I'm not going to clamp it, I'm just going to hold it down and tack it. Like 
that's flat. Yeah, that's better. I gotta get a parallel with with these sides right here all right so there there it is kind of tacked up um, just kind of for, for a test drive we wanted at this little angle here because it's kind of a natural uh, this natural gripping angle here um, the door is pretty heavy and it's a nice diameter so we can pull on the door and we can push on it and it's kind of this ergonomic position for your hand um, I may try to find a big nut uh, to put in there or something too to add to it a little bit, but that's pretty much it. I got to get some long carriage bolts so I can bolt through the door, and um, then I'll uh, uh, give it a wax finish and uh, install it. So anyway, quick little project, uh, uh, door handle for our warehouse door.